Okay, so we've got the height organised. As, as you remember and recall, Chantal was struggling getting her feet underneath, or her foot underneath to, turn, to go up the gears. So what we're going to do now is adjust the height of the gear lever to accommodate how her foot moves. To do this, we're actually going to need a few items which I'll come to. Basically an 8mm open-ended spanner, a 10mm open-ended spanner, 6mm Allen uh, key, either on a socket or a T-bar. Okay? And another thing we're going to need, surprisingly, is some blue Loctite, which I'll come to in a minute. So, let's get down to how we're going to adjust this lever. Now, we've worked it out that Chantal needs to be at about 300 uh, millimetres and at the moment we're at 280 to the centre of the front of the gear lever there so we're going to go up a couple of centimetres now let's have a look in close here we've got an issue now you see these little nuts here if you come in and have a look we've got nut there nut there you can get to them but there's nothing worse on a motorbike or any vehicle than looking at rounded off nuts and bolts and that that one is a little bit awkward to get to and i hate having to struggle with a spanner an open-ended spanner and end up chipping paint off this here so what we're going to do is in fact not bodge it we're not going to end up rounding uh, a nut off just for the sake of saving a bit of time it's very simple we're going to take this rear hanger off it's just three bolts here six mil allen key so we'll crack that off on there I have had them off once just to make it a bit easier but this is what we're going to do we're going to whip them off here so basically and they're quite they don't come straight out they're not and there's a reason for that they're actually loctited and that's the reason why we've got some blue loctite so we can loctite them back in again i'm not going to argue with what bmw have done i'm going to put it back exactly how it came off and we're going to put it back on the way that they put it on I think BMW tend to know what they're doing you'd hope so let's get that one out they're all the same you can see on here a little bit of blue Loctite and that's why we're going to use it to put it back on again it's important but as you can see now look if I can I've got a bit of a funny angle I'm trying to show you at the same time so I'm not using the t-bar very well so we'll put that there nice and carefully so not to knock any paint off it that's given us a lot easier access to these two nuts here now one thing i want to show you here a bit of a for me an unusual configuration of an engine the exhaust pipe comes out of the back of the engine and i want you to be aware if you're going to do this make sure your engine's cold because there's nothing worse than touching a hot exhaust pipe and the reason i'm saying that is i'm actually going to put if you come in close you see here, that section there's a flat on that bit there. That's eight mil. And that's the 10 mil nut next to it. To get to that, you can't, I don't want you swinging on a 10 mil spanner here against this ball joint. So we need to support it by using that flat. To get to that, you need to put a sp your eight mil open-ended spanner through there and get it from the back, which is why you don't need to be fighting against a hot exhaust pipe because it's there. So then what you do, slot it on there, and you've got your spanner in place and hold it from the back. And then what we'll do, and to slacken these, they're, they're actually a different thread, but you've got to just try and get an angle on it without actually damaging the paint on the lever. And you've just got to try and get that nut loose, which I have done, just flicked it loose there. Do you see that now? That's push away, spins it off. Get it to about halfway there on that thread between that. Now that middle nut there is in fact solid. It's fixed. There's no thread on that. That's actually welded in place in the middle. Same for this one at the front. So take the open-ended spanner off, pull it back out. I can get to this one just by doing that with a lever. And I can just put that there. And again, it's pushing it away to loosen it. It's a quick, and then a bit more. And then you should be able to spin it off like that. That has now given us this span adjustment that we needed. So what you then do is basically use this 
to make it go higher. So that thread, you'll spin. So if I go towards me, so from the front, it's clockwise, it's going down, which is not what we want. We need to go that way. And if you come down here and watch it from this height here, as I'm spinning it, you will see, you see it moving up? Beautiful, that's exactly what I want. And what I'm looking for is 300 mil there, vertical from there. A little bit more, yeah, I've gone up a little bit. So we're spinning this like so, a bit more. I'm looking for about 300 mil to the center of that hole. Can you see it? Brilliant, that's where we need to be. Now at that point then, we wanna make sure this is not gonna spin. So let's spin these back. So I put my finger there to stop the thread spinning. Spin this nut back to the, to the end there. Same with this one, put that towards us. Bosh. We then get the open-ended spanner. That way up on that one there without trying to damage the paint on the lever itself. Still a little bit awkward, but a lot easier without that rear hanger on. And again, we need to just make sure that's nipped. So we'll just nip that like that. That's good, that one's done, that's nipped. Same with this, and again, back to putting that through there. Grab it from the back with the cold exhaust. Put it on the flat, and again, we've got access to it now, just to nip it up easier without that hanger there. That's my opinion. If anybody wants to try and battle around that hanger and not take it off, it's up to you. But I, I, I would say it's important. It gives you that chance to make sure you're doing the job right and not risking rounding nuts off. That's got it nipped up nicely. So that's tight. That's tight. Then we'll go back to putting these back on. And um, as I say, we're gonna do it exactly as BMW said. And how we're gonna do it, in fact, is by a little bit of blue Hylamar. Blue Hylamar, that takes you back. That's gasket sealer, blue Loctite. We're just gonna put a little bit on each thread. Don't need a lot. That's all you need. You see, it's right in the middle of that thread there and it'll run in. And I'm going to actually get one on straight away. So what we'll do, we'll run that one in, if I can. Messed up a bit there, really. Let's just get these lined up on these holes. So we'll do that one there. And that one will line up with that hole there. So I'll run that one in with the T-bar. These are a bit awkward. They're not that simple. But I'm not going to mess about. I've got that one started. And I can see that one's lined up nicely there. So I'll, I'm not going to run them all in quick. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to mess about because I don't want this blue stuff going off before I've got them run in. I want it to be effective. And again, you, you don't need a lot. Get that one there. I can see that one's lined up with that hole just about. Just needs a little bit of an adjustment. If you don't get that lined up properly, you've got to be careful you don't cross thread it. And you'll know because it'll be awkward to turn in. Oh, that's much freer, much nicer. Right, so I'll make sure we've got some on this one. Same again. Just a little bit of, a little bit of blue for the dads. Let's run that one in. You see how it's all pushing in place there. So we'll run them up so they're nipped and then we'll nip them off properly. That one's nipped in as well. So what we'll do now is just a extra nip, extra nip, extra nip. That's exactly how BMW did it, so we'll put them back on the same way. So that's it, job done. So Chantal's now gonna have a sit on it. And see how that feels. It'd be a lot easier to, to test, test the fact that you can get your toe underneath it, actually riding it. Now, of course, everybody's different in relation to the height and how you want it. Ultimately, it's just down to you and what footwear you're wearing. Depends on your boots, depends on how 
easy it is for you to get your foot underneath. We've adjusted and played around a little bit beforehand with Chantal's foot and basically the problem she had before is she cost of the boots she couldn't point a toe down enough to get it underneath the lever and now as you can see she can and it was a bit of trial and error so what I suggest people do is sit on the bike with the hanger off possibly so all you've got is basically your foot peg your gear lever and have these nuts slackened off and adjust the span back and forth till you're comfortable and that's the way forward depending on the footwear that you're wearing time for a ride don't you think yes okay